Okay guys, so sa video na to, magsosob tayo ng dalawang trigonometric equation. So, ang unang trigonometric equation natin is yung 5 cosine x minus square root of 3 equals 3 cosine x. So, by the way, uh, the interval that we are going to use in this, uh, in this problem are from 0 to 2 pi, which is uh, 2 pi is not included. Okay? So, how we are going to solve 5 cosine x minus square root of 3 equals 3 cosine x. Okay, so we just uh, manipulate first the equation. So, we have 5 cosine x. Then, we transpose 3 cosine x to the left. So, minus 3 cosine x. Then, transpose the constant to the right equals positive square root of 3. Then, we can combine 5 cosine x minus 3 cosine x because they are similar terms. So, just subtract 5 minus 3. That is 2 cosine of x equals square root of 3. And then, divide both sides by 2. So, by 2. Okay. So, this will be cancelled. Therefore, our cosine x is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Now, uh, we are going to find the possible values of x, yung angles, between 0 to 2 pi ng cosine niya is square root of 3 over 2. So, positive is square root of 3 over 2. So, saan lang bang quadrant positive ang cosine? Yung x. So, sa first quadrant at sa fourth quadrant. So, let us first consider the first quadrant. Okay. So, ano ba yung angle? na ang cosine ay square root of 3 over 2. So, that will be, what? 30. Because, if we have 30 degrees, so the opposite of this is 1 half. So, that is the sine, right? So, ang partner niya, yung square root of 3 over 2, which is the cosine. So, ibig sabihin ng isang value ng x dito sa equation ay 30 degrees or pi over 6. So, ano pa yung isa? Okay, so, the other one will be in the fourth quadrant. So, hanapin natin yung angle sa fourth quadrant, ang reference angle niya, 30. And yun yung 330 degrees. Ito yan. So, 330 degrees. So, ano yung, uh, ano yung equivalent ng 330 degrees sa region? That is 11 pi over 6. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang solution ng ating equation ay dalawa lang. Sa interval na 0 to 2 pi, that's, that will be pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. Okay? So, ganyan lang yung pag-solve ng equation number 1. Okay, let's proceed to equation number 2. We have 2 cosine squared x plus cosine x equals 1. So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan, since quadratic yung form ng equation, we move all the terms sa left side, then i-equate lang natin sa 0. So, we have 2 cosine squared x plus cosine x minus 1 equals 0. Then, factorable yan. So, ang factor lang yan is 2 cosine x plus, uh, minus 1 times cosine x plus 1 equals 0. Oh, let us check. 2 cosine x times cosine x is 2 cosine squared x. Then, 2 cosine x times 1 is 2 cosine x minus cosine x because negative 1 times cosine x is negative cosine. That is positive cosine x. The negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. Then, meron tayong 2 factors na 2 cosine x minus 1 at cosine x plus 1. So, we have to separate them to cosine x minus 1 equate to 0. Okay? And then, we have solved for cosine x. That will be 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0. So, we have... Oh, sorry. Na ulit. Then, transpose 1. Negative 1 to the right. That is equal to positive 1. Then, divide both sides by 2. So, cosine x equals 1 half. Then, sa other side, we have cosine x plus 1 equals 0. Therefore, we have cosine x equals negative 1. So, ayan. So, hanapin natin yung mga angles na ang value ng cosine ay 1 half at another one is negative 1. Mag-start muna tayo sa 1 half. 
again, nasa first quadrant ulit tayo at sa fourth quadrant kasi ang cosine ay positive. So, parang kabaligtad na lang siya ng first example. So, ano yung angle sa first quadrant? That will be, ay, okay, iayos natin. That will be 60, right? So, kasi kung 60 degrees yan, ang opposite niya is square root of 3 over 2. So, ibig sabihin yung cosine niya, yung x, ay 1 half. So, ibig sabihin yung isang angle natin ay uh, pi over 3. Okay? So, yung isa naman na sa fourth quadrant. So, ano yung angle ng reference angle ay 60 degrees sa fourth quadrant? So, that is uh, 300 degrees. Okay? 300 degrees. So, ano ba yung 300 degrees sa region? So, 300 divided by 180 times pi. That is 5 pi over 3. Right? Kasi... O, kung i-convert lang naman natin, di ba? 300 over 180 pi. So, cancel natin yung 0. 30 over 18, ang divisor niya na ay 6. So, 30 divided 6 is 5 times pi. Then, one eight, ah, 18 divided 6 is 3. So, 5 pi over 3. So, sa cosine x equals 1 half, may dalawa tayo na pi over 3 at 5 pi over 3. So, doon tayo sa pangalwa. Cosine x is negative 1. So, kapag ang value ng uh, circular function ay, pa, ay 1, 0, or negative 1. So, quadrantal yan. So, kapag quadrantal angle, so, hanapin lang natin saan yung negative 1 cosine. So, di ba dito siya? Kasi itong angle na to, ang angle na to is what? Pi. So, ang coordinates niyan ay negative 1, 0. So, ito lang yon Doon sa given interval na 0, 2 pi. So, ang x ay cosine, di ba? So, negative 1. So, ito yon So, ibig sabihin ng x natin dito ay pi. Okay? So, kapag sinubstitute mo itong mga values na ito, masasatisfy siya dun sa equation. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating solution sa equation number 2 ay pi over 3, i-arrange lang natin, pi, then, pi pi over 3. So, gaya lang mag-solve ng uh, trigonometric equation. 